Hello all and welcome to another behind the scenes process video. Today I will be taking you through the creation of my piece, Waiting Out Wind, which I made for the Tiny Works show at the Seattle Art Post Art Gallery in Kirkland, Washington. Per the title of the show, the pieces had to be on 4 inch by 4 inch canvases. I wanted to depict something small and local, so I chose a chestnut backed chickadee. Once I found my reference, I spray painted the canvas with a dark moody turquoise. I like spray painting the background for pieces on canvas because it creates plenty of opportunities for interesting interaction between the top layer of paint and the underpainting showing through. For a while now, I have been interested in incorporating rigid geometric patterns and shapes into natural scenes, portraying the rapidly increasing integration of fabricated materials into the natural world. I selected a pattern with a lot of movement for this piece to contrast the stillness of the bird in its fortified position. First I measured out grid lines for the pattern and drew full guides in pencil. My initial plan had been one involving many layers. First the spray paint, then a geometric pattern, then gestural vibrant lines, then oil paint, then a top layer resurfacing segments of the pattern and gestural lines. The idea being to thoroughly integrate the quote-unquote fabricated elements with the natural scenery. As you'll see, the complexity of the imagery along with the intention and scale of the piece didn't all fall completely into place, but certain elements did come through. Once the pattern was put in with pencil, I went over it with a Molotow acrylic paint marker. I originally purchased these markers because I was looking for a medium to use on small polymer clay ornaments. Once I had them in hand, I realized they could be a good option for implementing my pastel techniques on pieces painted on canvas where there is nothing to protect the image from the elements. With the pattern drawn, I began defining the composition with some vibrant gestural marks, again with the acrylic markers. Then I put on the oil paint. I used quite a bit of medium, in this case a mix of Gamsol and refined linseed oil, to make the paint a bit more translucent for the background so that the pattern and marks would still show through in places. Because the bird is so small, I found that I had to forego allowing the lower layers to show through in order to get the right level of representation that I was going for. The next time I try these techniques, it will definitely be on a larger scale. First and foremost, I wanted the message of this piece to be about weathering a storm. The movement of the pattern, the moody spray paint, and the mixed translucency of the oil paint provided a perfect background for that. However, I felt that bringing more acrylic paint on top would make the tiny canvas too busy, so I left it at that. Thanks again for supporting my Patreon and for watching this video. I'll be back soon with more art and videos, so please stay tuned. Bye.